What's up ladies and gentlemen? Engineers for Tools is here to share with you the information on what real owners say about cordless tools. No gimmick, just feedbacks from real people. Now, let's begin. No matter what type of cordless power tool you are using or what brand is your favorite, you've probably wondered which batteries are best for your power tool, genuine or generic. And that question is valid, and the answer might surprise you. The majority of power tool users will advise you to buy genuine batteries, even though a decent part of the generic batteries is pretty good. Those people base their opinion on the belief that well-known brands guarantee the quality by their reputation. But we should remember that often good reviews of genuine batteries can be left by people affiliated with either brand or marketplace. Plus, people usually write reviews describing their experience trying only one battery, or a couple of them, at most. That doesn't show us an accurate picture of the market. That's why you should never rely solely on positive reviews. To find out the truth, we turn to reviews left by real cordless tools owners. They shared their experience of using both genuine and generic batteries. And we did our best to sort out those reviews and only look at the critical ones. We took into consideration only facts and constructive criticism, ignoring emotions and assumptions. Let's get started. We are going to review and compare two batteries. 12V Milwaukee Red Lithium 2.0 Battery Pack and 12V Lithium Ion Replacement Battery for Milwaukee. As you can see, their Amazon rating is not very different. The OEM battery has a 4.8 star rating, and the generic battery has a 4.3 star rating. That's not that big of a gap, especially considering that the generic battery costs 2.5 times less than the original battery. That being said, we should note that the generic battery has more 1-star reviews and less 5-star reviews than the original battery. But it's too early to make any conclusions. First, we need to look at what buyers have found out to be problematic about each battery. And then we will tell you some hacks on how you can avoid those problems yourself. Remember that we've only looked and analyzed reviews left by real buyers. And we tried to ignore the fake reviews and reviews without constructive criticism. 12V Milwaukee Red Lithium 2.0 Battery Pack. Overall, there are three types of problems people had with genuine battery. The first type of issue is the battery has a lower capacity. Thought I was purchasing a 2.0 amp rechargeable battery, instead received a 1.5 amp. The second type of issue is the battery can't be charged. After the initial charge, it powered up my heated jacket for 5 minutes and then went off. Tried to charge it, but both my Milwaukee chargers were displaying both blinking lights, and it would not take a charge. And the third type of issue the battery stopped working sooner than buyers were hoping it would. Lasts 5 to 6 hours after 2 weeks of use, with the radio. I was hoping for a little more, but that may have been my mistake. These are some serious issues, and a lot of buyers seem to have them. So, let's see what you can do to avoid those problems. A few tips on how to avoid problems with Milwaukee battery. If your battery has a lower capacity than it should be, test your batteries as soon as they arrive in the mail. If you see that the battery's capacity is lower than advertised or if you have any other issue, contact the seller. Brands offer a warranty on their products. So, if you have an issue, you can return your battery and get your money back or a battery replacement. But you have to act quickly, otherwise, you can miss the time when your battery can be replaced. If your battery isn't charging, if the charger has been plugged in for an extended period, it can lead to malfunction. So, first, make sure that your charger isn't the problem. When the charger is plugged in, you should see a solid red light on the left to indicate power. When the battery is inserted, the right light should also be solid red to indicate that it's charging. If the light is not on or is flashing red, this may indicate a problem with your charger. Then, make sure that the battery's been fully inserted into the charger, sometimes it requires a firm push. If you've tried everything else, it's time to reset the charger. Just unplug it for approximately 10 minutes, then plug it back in and try reinserting the battery. If your battery stopped working, first, make sure that you did everything right in terms of battery maintenance. There are things you could be doing that will damage even the battery of the highest quality. You can read everything about the right battery maintenance in our blog. If you're sure that you've done everything right, the problem might be the battery itself. You could have got a defected battery. These happen even when you're buying a so-called trusted well-known brand. You have to remember that the brand name isn't a 100% quality guarantee. To avoid that, always test your battery as soon as you receive them. And if you have any issues, contact the seller. You should also think of one thing. 
Even though the brands offer some kind of warranty, often it's very difficult to contact the seller and get your money back. Because Milwaukee is such a big brand, they can afford a couple of dozens or even hundreds of negative reviews, unlike a small brand. Replacement Lithium-Ion Battery for Milwaukee There are 14 one-star reviews of this battery on Amazon. The most common issues with generic batteries are The first type of issue is the battery doesn't hold a charge well. Bought double pack, first week one battery would not take a charge. Contacted Vane and immediately sent me another. Both worked well for month and half. Same problem with battery, will not take a charge. I guess you get what you pay for. Pony up and get the better batteries. Customer service was on point. The second type of issue is the battery quickly stopped working. Didn't last a month. Complete junk. Even fully charged they didn't last long at all. Then they just quit working the tool all together where six years old batteries still work the tool. Do yourself a favor and buy something else. You will regret getting these. The third and final type of issue is those that are valid problems. Only charged halfway, work okay. Does not compare to a genuine Milwaukee battery. Let's see how you can avoid or solve them completely. A few tips on how to avoid problems with generic battery. If your battery holds charge poorly. Just like we said earlier about the OEM battery, check out your charger and make sure you are charging your batteries the right way. Also, take good care of your batteries. You can read how about proper battery maintenance in our blog. It will make your batteries last much longer. Now that you're sure that you're doing everything right, contact the seller. The problem is the battery itself. The sellers will gladly help you. Small brands often are easier to deal with than larger brands. They have fewer customers and pay close attention to their ratings and reviews. Small sellers will do everything in their power to avoid a negative review, unlike big brands who have already earned a big reputation. If the battery died shortly after the purchase. Once again, proper maintenance is key to avoiding this problem. Make sure you're doing the correct maintenance. You can read all about that in our articles. But if you know for sure that you've done nothing wrong and your battery still died pretty soon, contact the seller. Batteries have a warranty, so use it. And now let's jump to a conclusion. First off, remember that people are more likely to express their negative emotions and will write a review if they've had some issues with the product. And if the product met your expectations, you will probably just forget to write a review. So, that being said, we take people who didn't leave any review on the batteries as buyers who have had a positive experience. And the actual percentage of negative reviews is much lower. Let's take a look. For OEM batteries, there are 28,720 buyers, 58 of which had some problems with the battery and were dissatisfied with the product. That is only about 0.2% of buyers with a negative experience, which is not bad at all. For replacement unbranded batteries, there are 3,320 buyers, 3,297 of which had a positive experience, and just 23 of which are dissatisfied with the product. That means that there are only 0.7% of buyers had problems with the generic batteries, that's less than 1%. Thus, negative experience for genuine batteries is 0.2% versus 0.7% for the unbranded ones. We also wanted you to remember something else. The problems that people had with the generic batteries are almost the same as the problems people had with the original battery. But keep in mind two things. First, there are only 14 one-star reviews on the generic batteries, while the original has 31 one-star reviews. And second, the generic battery costs more than half the price of the original battery. So, you could buy two generic batteries for the price of one original battery. And you will be able to switch the batteries as you go without stopping the workflow. And lastly, remember that even the branded batteries still can arrive defected. The brand name is just letters on the battery. It is not a guarantee of its quality. You still risk getting a bad battery. But hopefully, our life hacks and tips allow solving issues to those who already possess Milwaukee tools. For those who intend to purchase a cordless tool, this video will be a guide for the right product. Your opinion can differentiate with what's stated in the video. Please share your experience in comments. Also ask us in comments to have other products analyzed. If you like the true review based on experience of a real buyer, subscribe on our channel. Please support us by the likes, it will encourage us to make more true videos that equip you with the knowledge to make a correct purchase decision. Thanks for watching.